Okay, um, hey guys, this is my baby tooth headpiece, um, tutorial. Basically, this whole idea is from Shell Bunny Cosplay. Um, I used her tutorial, and this is just a step-by-step -step on how I did it, and what I used, and how you can do it too. So, yeah. Um... The end result is going to look like this, so yeah, if you want to keep watching, keep watching, but this is what it looks like afterwards, I guess. Um, you'll need a lot of aluminum, and you'll need tape, green tape, and a lot, a lot of feathers and hot glue. I used mostly hot glue for this, like a lot of hot glue. Um, I ran out of a few packets, and basically you're just, like, layering hot glue and feathers, um, on top of each other for hours. So, yeah, take the aluminum and make a shape around your head. Um, model your whole head. This can take a few seconds or a few minutes. Um, it didn't take me that long. And then, after you're done modeling your head, cover that with green tape and a lot of tape so that it's like secure and then you can model it around your eyes to cut out the parts in the aluminum that you want um, to see out of after I was done making it I actually cut out the eyes more and I'm probably going to cut out the eyes um, more later so that I can show more of baby tooth's makeup but yeah, just make sure that you can see out of this. And also cut out ear holes because those will be very efficient and you'll be able to hear through them. <laughs> and I guess you can just cover those with feathers later on. But it's better than just hearing a tin can all day. And as you can see, this whole thing is just basically aluminum and tape layered on top of each other. So now you're going to want to make a nose, um, you can model, hi, anyway, <laughs> take the aluminum and model it around your nose and basically get every crevice um, because you're going to need it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then put tape over that and make sure that it has the shape of your nose like perfectly or else it's not going to work. Um, well, it can work, it just won't be as comfy. So cut out your nose a bit, cut out your nose a bit, and then uh, add some um, aluminum and tape to where your um, forehead meets your eyebrows. So then you can attach that to the headpiece itself um, after you're done. And this is what that looks like. Ignore my face because I actually had to hold um, the nose piece close to my face because it kept popping up and you may have some problems with that later but uh, we're going to use spirit glue for that so that it stays on my nose and close to my face for the whole convention and all the three days so after you're done that you can make your um, nose and since baby tooth is kind of like a little hummingbird I made a pointed nose um, and that was basically just out of folding aluminum for a while and then taping that over and shaping it to um, the bridge of my nose. And then um, this is what it looks like from the side. Um, yeah, just make it basically as pointy as you want. Um, I also added a bit more aluminum to make it longer because she is a hummingbird. But, uh, I, don't, I didn't want to make it too long or else it would just be uncomfortable and awkward for the convention <laughs> um, to have like a foot long nose. But uh, basically you just take that, um, the nose that you just made, and just kind of place it on the nose, the mold of your nose, and then tape all of that. And basically the mold of your nose is just to make sure that it's not just some big hollow thing and it's actually going to be comfortable for you um, to wear. And the headpiece itself is kind of uncomfortable. 
Um, and you have to wear like two or three wig, wig caps or else your um, your hair just kind of bunches down at the middle because it's actually it's fit for um, your head without a wig cap. Um, so you could put on a wig cap and then shape it around your head like that so that it's easier to wear. Um, I didn't really think of this, <laughs> but I guess we'll find a way around it when the time comes. But yeah, just tape that, your two noses together, and then uh, tape it to your forehead, forehead piece. Make sure that it fits nicely, that the nose is the way you want it, because this is going to be your shape that you're going to paper mache later. Um, so just make sure that your nose is like perfect on your face, and then you can attach it to the headpiece. Yeah, just kind of tape all that together. Um, make sure that it's all secure and that it's not moving. Mine was pretty flimsy before I paper mache it because it all is just like tin foil and um, masking tape, so it's going to be a bit floppy. Um, but you're going to mache it later, so that's fine. Um, then. Yeah, this is a full view of the whole headpiece. Um, just going around. It's uh, it's kind of awkward when you put it on. It looks weird, but I guess it'll <laughs> look better with the makeup and everything. But it kind of looks like a hat with a pointy nose, and it's just yeah, it's weird. Um. <sighs> Anyway, this is kind of the easier part, but it took me a few hours to do just because it had to like shape around your head and everything, make sure the aluminum doesn't move and stuff. And always have reference photos with you just so that you can see kind of what she looks like and, and everything so that you can mold it to what you want the cosplay to look like. Um, so the next part, um, you may need a wig head because I, uh, I used my wig head most of the time after this because you need something to hold it unless you want a friend that wants to sit there um, make sure you have a wig head or a friend that like likes sitting still for hours so after this I used um, poster paper you probably don't need this much I had a sheet of poster paper but it was like 50 cents so I was like oh okay I'll take that <laughs> draw a circle big circle that you can kind of shape into a cone and this, I just drew a circle that was like kind of my head size, I guess. And then I cut all the way into the middle like I used to do in kindergarten when I was making little cones. Um, and then, yeah, you kind of shape the cone for the back of Baby Tooth's head so that you kind of know where to put her feathers and everything. Because it kind of it ends in a point, I guess. Um, and then tape all of that. You're going to use a lot of tape. <laughs> um, but it's green, so I guess it blends in if you can see it. I don't know. It's just, it's going to use a lot of tape. Um, so yeah, this is a full view again. Make sure that your ear holes and everything in your eye holes are shaped correctly while you're doing this. And then I kind of cut, I cut downwards from the ear, kind of ending in, the, uh, in a cone shape around my neck because it was just more comfortable to wear the, uh, the headdress and uh, yeah it just made it easier so then you're gonna paper mache that all I did um, two layers of paper mache and then uh, I kind of blow dried it for the most part because I was very impatient and I'm just an impatient person and uh, yeah and then afterwards I used Mod Podge um, this is for, uh, this is a hard coat for furniture. I didn't really see that it was for furniture when I bought it, but it worked. Anyway, I put that all over the headdress. I waited a few hours for that to dry. It says like 14 days, but that's for furniture. So, yeah, I, I just kind of blow dried it for a while. Um, this is a plume that I used um, for the, I thought that maybe the marker that I bought would color it better but it makes it look all gross and wiry so I only used a bit of that honestly for the headpiece. Um, my, my advice to you is that the only down feathers you should really buy 
are um, are ones for the base, um, like the green and the blue ones that I use. Don't buy a big old downy feather for the plume. Just kind of buy a smooth one that you can paint on, because um, we don't have big yellow feathers, or you could layer yellow feathers like I did. It's basically just to <laughs> make yellow. After I colored that, it looked all gross, and I was like, ew, I don't really want to use much of this. So I just kind of cut it up and then put it as a background, I guess. And now the hot gluing comes in. Um, I cut out foam, um, green foam, just to blend in foamy sheets. Um, and I used them around the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. And that was just for comfort, so that you know it wasn't like poking me all the time because it's on your nose and it's just like ah it hurts so I put foam <laughs> and it was just for comfort you can do this if you want you don't have to but yeah um yeah so then after everything is dry you want to paint it always have reference in the background um I painted it white first so that I could get the colors on and then I started to layer blue on it and uh, I had blue and green and yellow paints and then I just kinda layered all of that and made it blue and I was really impatient for the, uh, the white to dry so I started painting blue when it was still drying the white and that caused it to uh, go a light blue color so ignore that but paint all of it and uh, so yeah I used a sponge to paint on all of this stuff, I have my paint set up and then a water thing just to rinse it off. And I just kind of blended colors and it's less so to camouflage in, there's Marty. <laughs> it's less so to camouflage it than to actually, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a picture of the Marty. Um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? It's less to camouflage it with the feathers. You actually, like, this is just for you to see where the color transitions when you're putting the feathers on, like, how it's all blue in the back, and then it kind of goes to bluey green in the middles, and then in the, in the, it goes to all green and yellow um, in the very front. So this is just for you to see where her feathers are going to go. Um, and then Marty had some paint left over from her Jack Frost staff. So we painted the nose, and I used just brown and white, and then I made a bunch of colors, and then uh, made it look less one-toned, I guess, and then I put a highlight on the bridge of the nose, and this is my little paint bucket. Marty was making handprints. Um, so, yeah, just put a little bit of white on the nose, make it look happier, and uh, I may fix up the nose later, but I'm not sure. So here... We're basically just taking really long blue feathers in the back, layering them into a point around the cone. And then uh, I have blue downy feathers that I bought. They're like so soft and they just need a little bit of glue each time. Yeah, just layer downy feathers around the long feathers and just kind of blanket the back with a bunch of blue downy feathers and some I have some like kits and stuff of just random colors of feathers so I was kind of like placing those everywhere just to get some dimension um and then uh, Marty took my camera there's a new staff coming out um, and she's doing step by step on how to make that so I didn't have my camera but I had my webcam yay so uh, I have some green downy feathers that I just started layering in the middle and then I started layering a bunch of yellow feathers on top of that and yellow feathers on the um, tip of the nose just kind of disguise that it is your nose and it's kind of like oh, blending in um, and a bunch of green feathers that I randomly put everywhere and then I took this um, sparkly paint and then I just kind of painted all over some of the feathers to give it glitter with the sponge just so they're nice and glittery and blue. I layered over them but you can still kind of see the glitter in the back and I may add some more later but it was really cute. So then just keep layering those downy feathers um, 
I'll list all the things that I used possibly in the beginning of this video just so you know what to buy um but yeah just keep layering those downy feathers so it's all soft and cute and baby like and then put a bunch of yellow feathers in the middle because you uglied up your big feather um oh yeah cover your ears by the way with little downy feathers so you can still hear but you can't see the ears because baby Tooth doesn't really have ears to see um and then put a bunch of yellow feathers in the middle and uh yeah, just kind of put it around the bridge of your nose and the tip of your nose and then uh and then you should be should be done basically all of it. And uh at the end here I just kind of cut out the eyes um and added the plume after I cut it and then uh it should be done. So thanks for listening and uh <laughs> I hope that this helped you guys at all if it if you like a little bit um to keep you you know like <laughs> give you some advice on how to make it because i was seriously gonna take a wig and like put feathers on the wig but i didn't want to do that because it wouldn't stay so yeah um the tutorial that i watched was awesome and it gave me these ideas and I will put a link in the description for her channel because she is amazing and she has wonderful ideas on how cosplay works. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!